Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you two text to image generators. One is Flux One and the other one is Stable Diffusion. And we'll be making a small comparison. Since we don't have enough GPU resources on this laptop, uh, we will be running the AI models on Lightning AI. This is um, online, a place where you can get free GPU resources. So you can go to lightning.ai and press start for free and you can apply for an account and then you will get 15 credits for free. Since I already have an account, I logged in and here we can find under studio templates, we can find uh, ready-made templates. Let's open the ConfUI Stable Diffusion Starter Kit template. I'll leave a link to this in the description and we can press on open in studio but first let's note here that on the instructions it says to open port 8188 once you press on open in studio it will first duplicate the environment for you and then it will start loading the studio so it's starting up the environment kind of like starting up a virtual machine on the right hand side we can note that it's starting up with GPU resources. You can also switch to CPU resources. CPU is free and GPU resources do cost. Um, the T4 GPU costs 0 0.28 credits per hour and you have 15 credits for free per month. So that ends up to be 22 hours for these Confu UI models, you do need GPU, so you can't run it on CPU, but of course you can load new models and stuff like that when you're on CPU. Once the environment has started, I'll still show you this folder called Lighting Studio here on the left hand side, and in there we have an onstart.sh, so this is something which gets run each time the environment starts up. So it's doing a command python conf ui main.py and here we can see that there is a main.py file in here which gets run uh, each time when the environment starts and there is also a conf ui.log file and I think in here, yeah, here we can see that it's running on port 8188. So on the right hand side we can see port viewer and we need to press on new port so just fill in the port number 8188 you can also name the port something if you want to that's optional then press on display and then press on the name of the port and that will open up the Confi ui web page for you um the prompt in here will be something a bit more simple for you on the first load but I'll leave the this prompt for you I took it from prompt hero but I'll leave it in the description for easy access for you that's a bit more interesting than the default prompt then you can also change the width of the image to uh, 1024 and, and also the height and after that, when you press on a Q prompt, you will see in green kind of where it's running, which step is being run. There's kind of a progress bar here. So this maybe takes 20 to 30 seconds with this GPU resources to, to run this model. And then under save image, you will see the image which it generated. If you right click here, we can press on save image or copy image or open image. If you press on open image, we can see the results. So looks quite nice. Yeah, and I forgot to show you in the load checkpoint, we have um, two, two models which are kind of loaded by the creator of this template in advance. So here we can just select the save tensors one and we can still press on Q prompt and run the model again and 
see what kind of an image we get this time. Okay, this time it kind of messed up. It's like two heads a bit merged, but kind of the, the detail and the quality is nice, but just messed up this time. Okay, so next, if we want to run the flux model, we will need to load that checkpoint since we don't have it. So we can go under manager and here we have model manager and we can filter for something which is not installed and then type is checkpoint yeah here checkpoint and then we can filter for flux so let's try the schnell model this fp8 should be the one which is easier to use so let's just press on install here and that will take some time but let's just pause for a moment okay actually while the model is loading i'll show you this web page i'll leave a link in the description to this so here we can find the images or workflows so let's just this regular full version here but then there's also a simple to use fp8 checkpoint version let's use this one instead and since we didn't go for the flux dev model we went for the flux schnell model which is the faster one um, this is the the kind of image we will use for uh, for getting the workflow so just save this image and then when you come back in here oh, okay first it will require a refresh so installation was done but you need to press refresh so let's press close and then refresh no definition is updated okay we're still on close and uh, so this is the workflow which was for this um, sd excel model so this is the stable diffusion model but let's press on load and then select that image okay so it's this flux schnell checkpoint example so let's press on that open and now we have the workflow for this model and yeah well it has a prompt here which came by default and it also changed the checkpoint to to that one which we just loaded so let's press on q prompt and let's hmm. yeah actually it's not a match so the value not in list flux schnell fp8 safe tensors not in flux schnell safe tensors flux one okay it seems that it's typed differently this checkpoint name doesn't really exist typed like that but if we change to this flux one slash flux schnell might be the same model but just named differently let's let's see if we can q prompt and will it work so it seems it did start so let's see if we get the result i'll pause for a moment here we can definitely see that it's using the GPU. GPU load is at 100. And it seems to be progressing, so we should see something soon. But to me it seems that this takes a lot longer than the stable diffusion model we were running before. Here we get the result. Looks nice. We can again press open image. And here is the result but we want to use the same prompt as before so so i'm copying the previous prompt in here and let's q prompt and let's run that again yeah it's a bit hard to see the progress but now we can see maybe it was just the first run which took longer this is not taking too long And we should 
average I'll just in a moment. Yeah, okay. Well, it's definitely quite high detail and interesting, but kind of prefer the stable diffusion version compared to this one, but let's try again and see what we get. Okay, this one is a bit nicer in my opinion compared to the previous one. Let's try one more. Okay, again, it's quite interesting, but yeah, doesn't look that realistic. I think this one was better and still, yeah, kind of still the de stable diffusion one is the best from these. But let's try a different prompt and let's go to prompt hero. So here in prompt hero we can find prompts which were used for stable diffusion and we can also find prompts which were used for flux. So let's maybe try a prompt which has worked well in flux. Let's see what we can find. Okay, this one is interesting. So let's try copy and go back to the Confi UI user interface. Let's drop this text in here and let's press on Q prompt and let's see what we get. Okay, this is the result and definitely the left hand side looks quite nice, but on the right hand side, something really strange happened. If you press on open image, we can see the person on the right is kind of missing almost the whole head. Let's try to cue that prompt again and see what happens. Okay, this one looks a bit better, I would say. Seems quite realistic. Coins, an older man. Yeah, okay, if you go, want to go back, back to the stable diffusion model, we cannot mm, just change the checkpoint. We should really load the model again. So let's press on load default here. And this is loading the, the model we started with, but let's just switch here to the uh, checkpoint for stable diffusion. And let's go back and copy the prompt and copy it in here and queue the prompt and see what kind of results we get in stable diffusion with this prompt. Okay, it's kind of a cartoonish image, but for some reason the results are quite different if we change the resolution. Let's change that to same resolution we had on the Lux model. And the result is quite a bit nicer. Let's press on open image. And well, yeah, a lot of coins, but the, the person is maybe not that realistic. So for this prompt, I prefer the results from from the flux model, but let's just give it another chance and, and see what happens. Okay, maybe this one is better. Yeah, I think this is a bit better, but still, yeah, kind of prefer the flux model with this prompt. So it might be that the different prompts, they work better on a certain model. So you just need to experiment and prompt hero is a fun place to find, find prompts, which somebody has created, created images with. But in conclusion, 
is flux better or stable diffusion better i'm not sure both seem to work well with different prompts and produce very interesting results and in any case you might say this is not a fair comparison because i wasn't using workflows with some added additional steps which would produce better results and so on but at least this will show you how you can run both stable diffusion and flux in lightning ai and switch between the different workflows and the different models if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching